Hey everybody, how are y'all doing? I'm doing so fine. Y'all, I wanted to share a little story with you all. Just a little chit chat while I make my salad. Oh my gosh, you talk about air pump drama. I had some air pump drama this evening. So I recently went out of town, right? And when I got back in town, I noticed that my tires were low, like all four of them, which was kind of unusual, I, was, I thought, you know. They were supposed to be at 42 each, and they were, one was at like 30, one was at 34, and the other two were at 36. I was like, hmm, okay, you know. I get my tires taken care of. Every time I get an oil change, I have them rotate them and everything, and my tires aren't that old. And so, oh my gosh. So I knew I had to go to the grocery store tonight. So I thought, let me just run out real quick. Grocery store is like not even 10 minutes away, maybe like seven minutes away. And then there's a gas station right next door to the grocery store. I was like, I'll just run there, get my coffee creamer. I had a nice little shopping list and I'll just get some air and then come on back home, right? Hold on, y'all. Mm, that Pepsi is good. I'm drinking uh, wild cherry Pepsi tonight. And I was wanting to get some of that mango Pepsi, but they didn't have any in a two liter. So anyways, y'all, so I get to the air pump. Well, I decided to go to the gas station first, right? So I get to the gas station, and there's somebody already there parked in front of the of uh, the air pump. And so I thought, okay, great. I hope they don't stay there too long, right? Well, I hope they don't stay inside of the gas station store park too long because I thought the truck was empty. So I'm sitting there waiting and waiting and waiting. About 10 minutes go by and I don't see anybody come out of the store, right, to get back into the vehicle in front of me. And it's dark outside and everything. And so, Finally, I decided to just pull up and take a look inside the car and see if anybody's in the car, right? So I pull up. There's a guy sitting in the car chilling. He saw me behind him because I had my headlights on. I'm parked right behind him. He's parked in front of the air machine. So I pulled up to him and I was like, I need some air. And he's like, oh, okay. I wanted to say, duh! Why are you sitting there? But I didn't, because you know, it was a guy, it's dark, it's late, you know, I wasn't gonna say anything. So I cracked a smile at him, you know, I didn't roll my eyes like I really wanted to do. I cracked a smile, I was like, thank you. So he pulls up, pulls up, and I pull up to the air pump, and oh my gosh, $2 is what they were charging for air. Now, I don't think I've ever paid $2 for air, I've paid, 50 cents, 75, a dollar, dollar 50. Never $2 for air. And so I was like, oh, this is just ridiculous. But I need some air, you know. I don't want to wake up to a flat or, you know, whatever. And so I, you know, run my credit card. I wasn't going to use my debit card. You know, I ran my, my credit card through the little reader and everything. Air, the air pump turned on. And, you know, you have the plus or minus that you can press to uh, take it up or down to the, the how much air you need in your tire. I needed 42. It was set to 32. I kept pressing the plus sign. Plus sign would not work no matter what. So I pressed the little minus sign, and the numbers went down to 31, 30, 29. And I pressed the plus sign again. And the numbers didn't go up, so it defaulted back to 32. So I was like, oh my gosh, I don't have a little handheld tire gauge with me, so I really need for this thing to work. So it just didn't work. So I thought, okay, I need some air, right? So I just started, I just started, I took the caps off my little tires, and I just started putting air in. And so I was like, it's dark outside, I can't really see. The, you know, I can't really see what I'm doing. Let me just count to like 25 per tire. And so that's what I did. And so when I was done, 
um, the thing started beeping to let me know that it was getting ready to shut off. So when I was done, I get in my car, crank it up, and lo and behold, the, the hose let air out of every single tire. I think one of them went down to like 29, the other ones went down to like 32, one was at 30, like they were like really, really low. I was like, are you kidding me? I just paid $2 to let air out of my tires. So, you know, it's nighttime, it's dark and everything, and I wasn't that close to another gas station. Actually, I think the other gas station was probably about a half a mile away maybe a mile. So I drive to the other gas station. It's an old gas station. So of course they didn't have an air pump. So I drive about a mile and a half, two miles up the street to the next gas station, no air pump. So I drive, I think four miles to the next gas station. Now hold on, I'm putting my delicious uh, garlic toast in the oven. I'm having a nice salad tonight. So anyways, I, um, I drive about another four miles, right, to the next gas station. When I get there, there's somebody already there putting air in their tire, you know, which was fine. So I just decided to wait and wait and wait. And um, so when they were done, I pulled up. Everything worked just fine, and the air there was free, right? So the only problem is... I, pu I didn't pull up far enough. I have, a, I have a pickup truck. So I pulled up far enough so that the hose would reach to each tire, but I have tenant windows in my truck and my truck is like big, so I couldn't see. My dog is having an issue, one second. Okay, sorry about that. Sometimes he eats too fast and he just chokes. I had to check on him. Anyway, so I'm there trying to put the air in my tires and I could see the little machine for the front two tires. I knew exactly when I hit 42. The thing didn't beep at 42, but I could see the screen flashing. So I went to my back tires to put air in and I couldn't see over my truck. And I had a car waiting behind me. So I was like, oh my gosh. And so I just put, started putting air in and Whenever I thought it was enough, I took the gauge out and I ran over and I looked at the machine and it defaulted back down to uh, 35. So I was like, I, I don't even know how much air is in this tire because I can't see. And so anyway, I, I put in what I thought was enough and got into my truck, pulled off, and lo and behold, I did not have enough air in either back tire. Cause I couldn't see the machine. I need to buy a tire gauge. I don't know why I don't have one. I usually have one. So anyway, I pull off and because I wanted the people behind me to be able to go ahead and use the air pump. And so they were grateful. So they um, pulled up and I pulled behind them to wait for them to get their air. And so when they were done getting their air, they got back into their car and just kind of they pulled up a little bit. I guess they wanted to make sure they had everything they needed, but they didn't pull up far enough for me to get in there and pull, pull far ahead so that I could uh, see how much air I was gonna be putting in my back tires. I needed to pull forward more, but they stopped. So I was like, seriously? So I kind of tried to veer to the left a bit and back in so that I could see my uh, rear tires and the gauge at the same time, but then they figured it out and they moved out of the way. So I finally was able to put enough air in each tire. I'm at 42 for each tire like I'm supposed to be, which is great. So then I continue on to the grocery store and I get there all ready to grab my few items. I had written a list out. I knew I needed like about four or five items. Forgot my list. <laughs> I didn't know what I needed. So I, whenever something comes to my mind, I quickly write it down on a little pad in my kitchen. I was like, I don't even know what I need. My list is not here with me. So I kind of guessed at it and everything. And I was, I was like, if I forget something, you know what it is, what it is. 
So I'm sure I forgot something, but whatever. What is? So that shopping experience wasn't too bad. So I get in my car to come back home and turn on the radio. I like listening to um, the Frank Sinatra station on my Sirius radio uh, dial in my truck. And here he is singing, I got a whole lot of nothing. <laughs> Don't drag me down, Frank. Don't drag me down. He's like, I got a whole lot of nothing. I was like, okay. I listened to the song because it was the first time I had ever heard that song. And I like Frank Sinatra. I mean, dude could sing. So I get home and it's like an hour and 15 minutes later. I mean, the whole thing should have taken maybe 35 minutes tops. So now here I am making a, a wonderful salad of spinach and I have some, what is this? I have walnuts and cranberries and I have some nice pear and some mild white cheese in here. I'm making garlic toast, but I'm still going to put a few croutons in my salad just because I like the way that croutons flavor my salad when they soak up the vinaigrette. So I have a nice, I'm using the Cannes Italian with garlic and asiago cheese. So y'all, that's going to be my dinner. A nice salad with just a few croutons, some garlic toast, my Pepsi. I'm getting ready to sit down and go enjoy my dinner, call it a night. I have an appointment to get my car looked at next week, so I'm just going to have them take a look at all of my tires to make sure my tires are good. Um, I had a, a screw in one of my tires a couple of weeks ago and I got that patched up nicely and everything's fine with that tire. But it might be time for me to, uh, I don't want to buy new tires right now. They're just too expensive, especially for a truck, y'all. Come on, y'all. Mm. Anyways, I thought y'all would get a kick out of that little story about the air pump drama. I mean, I could have done all of this tomorrow morning, but I mean, instead of doing it tonight, but like for real, I wanted a Pepsi. I wanted a Pepsi. I needed air in my tires, so I made the sacrifice. So anyways, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your evening and I will holler at y'all later. Bye.